has grieved, overwhelmed the heart of the morning of the 14th of April with the news of Rahman Sahib's departure. I called Sayyida Hamid across the divide in Delhi and we wept, sharing our sorrow together. No distance felt then or indeed ever. We have lived with extraordinary grief and loss these many months and have found our own means of finding solace, ways to comfort one another in unexpected ways. A piece of music here, some lines of poetry there, a column written, wrenched from one's guts, and then Palestine, Palestine in one's heart. But then they have appeared in recent days, um, two very different reasons to lend strength to the spirit. And I'd like now, uh, Bina, if somebody would share the screen of the first reason why one should um, take, take some strength. The first was the news of this publication of a book. It is a book that I was peripherally involved with in the pre-COVID days. You know, they actually were pre-COVID days that disappeared so fast that one doesn't know. The book was called um, Batan, Homeland. And it's Graciela um, Magnoni, who's a photographer, who's been working on a visual project for the six years. Um, and she's been working in the Punjab. She had been photographing villages on both sides of the border. You know, these boundaries which are created by the nation states and they enforced with such vengeance. Um, but Graciela, as she explored these villages on both sides, she explored the terrain, she looked at the people and the poetry of their daily lives. And those lines, those extremely enforced lines, they receded and um, they were subverted by a strange kind of oneness. The book is called Vatan or Homeland and it has 99 images and poems by Amrita Pritam, Fez Ahmed Fez, Ustad Daman, Bullesha, and Gulzar. I wrote a brief forward, and it seems now, you know, it was years and years ago, but it was, you know, just a year and a half ago. And um, in my forward, I quoted two lines from the only poem written in English by Fez Ahmed Fez. And the poem is called The Unicorn and the Dancing Girl. And of course, this the unicorn and dancing girl is a reference to the Indus Valley civilization and these famous images that come from it, the figurine as well as the seal. And these first lines go, in Pakistan, as elsewhere in Asia and Africa, time past is time present. And in the past, the past that neither man nor history remembers, there was no time, only timelessness. And strangely, you know, it's been this timelessness that Graciela's images convey. And they've been, you know, a, a source of some strange comfort in these past months, as one has looked at them and taken strength from the fact that this is the poetry of daily living. And then there was another image, something happened. I was sent this image, this image by Imran Qureshi. And he's a celebrated Pakistani artist and he is known more as a pioneering miniature painter. And this is a work 
that was put up for auction for the fundraiser by the Indian art community for COVID relief. And Imran's work was part of this auction. And it fetched the second highest price for any work. The first was a work by Amrita Shergil, or as his gallery sardonically re remarked, by a lady called Shergil. And um, it was valued at 9,000 US dollars, and it went for almost double at 17,000. The work's title just happened to be, it just happened to be when I thought of you. And I thought that the title was straightforward. So, so, as um, we slowly come back to our lives and we're thinking of a life beyond the pandemic, I go back to the poem, to the poem, The Unicorn and the Dancing Girl. And the poem ends thus. The birth of time out of timelessness is beset, like all births, with travail and hope and joy and apprehension. For as Nazim Hikmat put it, despite the weight on my chest, my heart still beats with the distant stars. I think we take strength from that.